This is the Brain Chip Podcast. Hear from our thought leaders about neuromorphic computing, beneficial AI, and how Brain Chip's Akita is pushing AI to the edge. This podcast is a place for investors, practitioners, and anyone interested in the future of AI. Hi, all. I'm Rob Telson, Vice President of Worldwide Sales at BrainChip. Welcome and thank you for joining our latest episode of our BrainChip podcast series. These events are structured to provide current and future investors and those interested in AI and the BrainChip technology a path to better understand who we are, what we are doing, and where we are going. If you've not listened to any of our podcasts, please go to our website at www.brainchip.com and visit our Learn tab and select Podcasts. You can also listen to any of these podcasts on your favorite podcast platform, or please go to our YouTube channel at Brainchip Inc. and find all of our podcasts and additional media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, and it will update you when we have new media on the channel. Today. We have the pleasure of spending some time with Sean Hare. Sean is our CEO here at BrainChip and is leading us as we revolutionize AI. Sean has an extensive career in technology driving commercialization at large, mid-size and small organizations. A critical thinker and extremely focused, Sean has had much success driving revenue growth for key organizations. And we are very, very excited having Sean leading our team. So Sean, Welcome to our podcast. Thanks, Rob. It's great to be here with you, and it's great to be here at BrainChip. Yeah, you know what? Uh, today's a good day. I'm excited that we can do this podcast and kind of start the dialogue and get everyone that, that's following us and interested in BrainChip to really start to understand a bit more about you and BrainChip in general. So, you know, you've had an opportunity now to get a good understanding of BrainChip and the edge AI environment that continues to evolve at an extremely rapid rate. So, Sean, let me take a moment and let's start by just provide our listeners with a bit of background on yourself. Sure. Thanks, Rob. So I was raised on the East Coast. I'm an East Coast person, raised in Boston. I have had the luxury of living through most of the United States and Europe at the same time. I've moved 12 times in my life. My entire career has been in technology. I've worked with some of the biggest companies in the world, uh, such as Hewlett Packard and some of the small startups like Fusion IO, which was a an amazing ride as we took it from a very small company to a very large company. So that's me in a, in a nutshell. Technology of the heart, all the time. Yeah, I think the exciting thing is for our listeners is you know, you've really had the opportunity to see it from both ends: large scale environments and environments where everyone is doing everything to make a massive success. So what motivates you on a daily basis? Well, Rob, you should know by now I'm very, very competitive. So that's what motivates me on a daily basis. And behind competitiveness is a couple of things, is preparation. I love to work on things to be prepared, whether that's my golf game, my board games, my workouts. There's a lot of preparation. Then is that inner drive that just kind of comes out in the desire to excel. I love to excel in anything I do. And that's why I like hard things like golf. As that's the competitiveness that drives me on a daily basis. And when I apply that to work, BrainChip is just a great opportunity to, to apply that kind of competitiveness. We have a big advantage with our technology. We've got a forming market. We've got great teams. And it's just a great way to go out and compete in the marketplace. For those that are listening, I will vouch for the fact that Sean is extremely competitive. And when we're talking about engagements and we're talking about strategy, it's really about winning. And how do we go about doing that? And it's exciting to have to have Sean leading the way and keeping us focused on specifically, we're going to win. So let's talk about you joining BrainChip. Um, when you looked at the opportunity and we're, we're analyzing it and trying to understand, okay, what excites me about joining BrainChip? What was it? Well, Rob, it wasn't just one thing. It was really a lot of things. And the first thing was looking at the market and the potential for disruption in the kind of things we can do for our customers around productivity and profitability and competitiveness for their products and the markets they serve, that was very, very exciting for me. Then I examined the technology and I looked at it very hard and vetted it with some very knowledgeable people in this space. And I realized this really is unique in the market and there's nothing like it. 
And then last thing is when I got a chance to meet the team, to every single person I met, I've never seen a team of quality individuals in terms of their work, their education, and their dedication to a cause and a mission. When I put that all together and added one more thing, then I got to meet one or two of the potential customers and existing customers. I was like, wow, I can't wait to get here. And I'm very glad I joined. Well, I'm smiling because what you highlighted is from the disruption to the team and to where we are. Yeah, you hit on three really key points. Um, But now that you've been here for, I think it's been about eight weeks, uh, what are your thoughts? So all the things I thought coming in are true. I think the opportunity is very real. The team is even more dedicated, more impressive, more talented than I thought. So all that's true. But my other thought that I have right now is, We are just not doing enough to get the word out. We have got to get the word out. Let the world know what we have here. We have is something truly, truly unique. There's nothing that even comes close. I know the purpose here is not to do a technical eval, but we got to get the word out through a lot of different channels. Yeah, and and for our listeners and people curious about BrainShip, one of the things that we we launched um, based off of um, Sean jumping on board and kind of uh, driving us forward is our mini PCIe program. And with that mini PCIe board program, it's really about getting the word out, getting users of all levels starting to to get accustomed to Akita and make it a part of their everyday lives. And uh, that's an exciting time as we kind of drive that forward, as well as with our development kits our our IP and our silicon. So Sean, when you take a look at 2022, as we move forward, what do you expect from BrainChip? So if if you think about BrainChip and where it's come from and where we are today, if you just look at the timeline, it really was started as pure research, pure development. Then we went through a product development and hardening phase. That was completed about a year or so ago. We're on the path to commercialization. We have some beautiful marquee wins, some great engagements going on. But this year for 22 is all about commercialization. We've done the research. We created the product. We've got our beachhead customers. This is a year about obtaining many more customers and many more verticals. Yeah, that seems like you're putting a lot of pressure on me, but I'll take it. I like it. So uh, let's look longer term. It's, maybe it's a little early, uh, but... I know you've got your vision, and I know that our listeners are are curious. Okay, what do you see, Sean? So if you had to script a vision for BrainChip, what would it be? Being a long-term tech person, you see cycles that go over and over and over again. So if you think about where we are with artificial intelligence, we're really in the very early innings, particularly if you think about edge AI, very early innings indeed. And so what I envision for this company is that as we – proliferate the technology, prove it out even more in many, many industries and use cases that we become the de facto standard. That is the vision I have for the longer term. There is absolutely no reason why we cannot be the predominant standard for edge AI in the coming years. It's a good point. And when I look at it wholeheartedly, I agree with you. We have an excellent opportunity to become a predominant standard and um, become the de facto technology as the you know edge and AI inference market continues to evolve and develop. And we know now, you know, it's a $46 billion market. And we also know that we are at the tip, tip of the iceberg, folks, and it's going to continue to evolve from that end. But uh, Sean, I usually end with one last question, but before I do that, I just want to know, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I want to give you one thought and then a question. So one of the thoughts I always want to give to you and our listeners when I talk about commercialization, if you think about where we've come from, the heart and soul of this company is the technology. We are not going to take our foot off the gas. You can expect great things from us this year in terms of technology advancement. We're not going to just keep our lead. We're going to accelerate that lead. So I need you to hear that, Rob, as you spread the word. But now what I'd like to hear from you, you had a week of sales calls. You were up in Silicon Valley all week. Tell me what you heard up there. Give me good news. (laughs) <laughs> a great question. And thanks for putting me on the spot. But, uh, you know, for you, Sean, and for our listeners, it was a great week and a lot of exciting uh, discussions. And what we realized and we continue to realize as we talk to current and future customers is that the technology that we have is game changing. And that uh, as we look at the AI and specifically the edge AI environment, Companies that are adopting this type of technology, they're still learning, 
They're still trying to figure out how to incorporate things, but they also realize when they're talking to Brainship, it's going to make a difference. And that's what we get really, really excited about. So we, we have, from a sales standpoint, a customer engagement standpoint, you know, we have our work cut out for us, but we wouldn't want it any other way because as we both know, this is a process and we're moving through that process. And we've had a lot of good successes and we're going to continue to have a lot more. So with that, Sean, the question that we end all of our podcasts with is, if you had to be one superhero, who would it be and why? Well, I'd like to be Barry White, but he doesn't count as a superhero, Rob. So if I had to pick a superhero, I'll, I'll pick Flash because I think Flash is very much like me. I want to be everywhere all the time with speed, just like I want our company to be. Folks, you've heard it there. That means if Sean's running fast, I've got to run faster. Sean, thank you for your insight and feedback today. It's truly appreciated. And we are so excited to have you as part of our team and leading the way. Uh, we do expect and demand that 2022 is going to be a great year for Brainship. And so on behalf of the Brainship team, we want to thank all of our listeners, investors, analysts, employees, and everyone interested in learning more about AI and learning more about Brainship. We truly appreciate all of your passion and all of your support. Our podcast series will continue. So until our next podcast, we wish everyone to stay healthy, happy, and most importantly, stay out of trouble. Thanks for listening to the Brain Chip Podcast. Please remember to rate and review on your favorite podcast platform.